Hi, Rebecca back with you and today we are looking at the psoas muscle, the sneaky little psoas. It sits from here and goes down into the inner thigh. So the psoas, is it a hip flexor? Yes. Is it a pelvic stabilizer? Yes. Is it a safety center for the body? Yes. It's got lots of roles and we're still learning quite a lot about this little muscle, but it's very important. It's important for, as a horse rider, you need to know it's important for pelvic stability. Actually, all those things, because we need pelvic stability, we need good hip function, and we need to feel safe on our horse, which is a hard place to feel safe because it's a flight animal, and it's just a silly place to be. But we do it anyway because we love it. So the psoas is connected to the spine between um, T12 and down here into the lesser trochanter of the femur, so down here. And then what you'll find, the fascia of the psoas is connected to the pelvic floor, to the transverse abdominus muscle around here, to the internal oblique. So it plays a big part in that um, stiffening of that, that core cylinder in the body there. So we use it dynamically, it's got to do with the hip function and we use it to stabilize. If, we, if it's not activated well, what you can find the body um, it might go into the jaw and to the head and neck if it's affected, if it's not switched on because it's had a trauma, there's been a trauma or something to switch off that psoas. Um, biomechanically, if that's not doing the job we want, you might find your quad comes up to do more for the hip and less for the knee. So that leaves your knee exposed to injury. We don't want that. And the other thing you'll find um, is to counter that quad activation there that's not happening correctly you'll get your abs coming down here to try to control the pelvis, to try to stabilize the pelvis from that way. So you end up with this sort of position. So sometimes you can fight that till you're blue in the face, that sort of feeling of need to com needing to compress down. But if these, if the psoas isn't working properly, the body's not gonna let go of these other places. The other thing, if the body's not feeling safe, when this isn't switched on, you're gonna get other parts of the body trying to do the work of the psoas. So let's activate it. So of course the first port of call is gonna be the oeuvre. So we're gonna lie on the oeuvre. Oh, about there, I think I'm all in shot. So the first thing we need to test before I take my legs long and the hip into extension is to make sure I'm set up well. So my hands are by the ground, on the ground, I take one leg up into tabletop, then I very slowly take that second leg. And I'm looking to make sure, I'm feeling to make sure that there's no um, tightness or gripping in my shoulders or neck, and my head doesn't lift off the ground and that my chin doesn't poke out. That's all nicely neurally relaxed through there. So we're in a neural neutral. All right, so now we're going to take the legs long. You'll find the hips and external um, sorry, the hip is an extension and we're going into external rotation, but we're nicely supported by the oeuvre in the rest of our spine. I'm going to sneak a little bit further towards my head. There we go. Now my arms are going up to the ceiling and then I'm just going to take one leg and keeping it in external rotation, lift it off the ground and try to hold it there for at least 30 seconds. I'm not going to do 30 seconds for the video and then we'll do the other leg. And I have a sneaky suspicion this is gonna be my more interesting leg. Ooh, I've got to, um, uh, got to look a little deeper for that one. So that's one way of activation. Okay, now we're gonna look at what the Be Activated guys would look at. I've spoken about them before. We're, I can't show you here, I'm not gonna show you here how we test the psoas, whether it's activated or not, but I'm going to show you how you can activate it. So, if you look for a point between that little bony part of your hip there, I'm trying to keep this in layman's terms, for those of you who aren't up with the lingo, and your belly button there. So you're looking for that line and you, you're gonna draw a 45 degree line between the two, and right in the middle is your point you're looking for. This is better done lying down. I'm just gonna sit here to show you, kneel here, but you would do it where everything else is relaxed. So you'd get as deep as you can without hurting yourself. And then you're gonna circle around in there. It's not in and out. It's not just superficially on top, it's quite deep. And you're slowly just trying to go a little circle, trying to wake up all that psoas area. So you're gonna grab yourself one of these little straps like this. 
you probably don't need it to be terribly heavy to start with. So we're going to put that strap around our feet, around the arches. So not around the ankles or anything else fancy, just around the arches of the foot. Then we're taking one leg up. So we want that knee to be past the hip height, past hip height. You don't want to twist your pelvis up. So really make sure your setup's good. You're not being dragged back with your back like that and you're not twisting your hips up, hitching your hip up. So <laughs> easier said than done. If you need something to hang on to, go close to the wall, but I'm gonna be very brave and courageous here and try to do it without hanging on to anything. Um, you can help that knee to come up past the hip height, but make sure this is doing the work in here. So we're trying to activate here the right psoas and the left glute, they work together. Okay, so the glutes and the psoas muscles work together. So we're just gonna to try to hold that there, press, keep this leg nice and straight and press up to the ceiling, being as tall as we can. My gosh, I could be doing this a lot better. <laughs> it's not so easy. Okay, so we're holding that for about 30 seconds. Then you can do the other leg and go for a little walk around and you should feel a million dollars. So now your psoas should be nicely activated.